and a very good afternoon to you. Welcome to Bansko Blog Bansko app on Friday the 3rd of February 2023 and I'm with Richard, the good amazing morning. Richard Zeronian. Good morning Richard, how are you? How are the conditions? Uh, I think they're pretty good in terms of the snow. Yes. But it's just a bit too busy for my liking. Indeed it is, I would agree. Very busy. So I'm going to the recovery lounge <laughs> for a bit of treatment. I know you like a bit of treatment, Richard. So let's just show everybody the view. It's a glorious sunny day though, isn't it? It is indeed. And it was very cold at the top and it was closed to start with, wasn't it? Me wearing this face mask. Indeed. It's a real must. I thought it was just to improve your looks. And uh, <laughs> we, uh, we actually had a good ski, but it was a bit patchy in places, wasn't it? Very nice, uh, cold, crispy snow, but uh, some bits were a little bit hard, weren't they? They were. Yeah. So, shall we speak for yourself? Uh, <laughs> yes, we did. Fresh snow really made a difference and very cold temperatures. I'll carry on. I just want to show you the ski row because this is the first day I have actually done it. Richard did it. Uh, actually on the first so he did it on Wednesday today's Friday officially opened yesterday well it kind of was open but he and then they closed it actually on uh, on uh, Wednesday so it's today it's all open of course it's been very cold up there strong winds as I say and uh, that makes for good snow though more snow coming by the way and I hope you're doing well if you've been here have you managed to have a good time because well it has been very challenging conditions here in Bulgaria and uh, here in Bansko we're now feeling it's back on track with most of the pistes open but not Chalimvalog which I'll show you how to get to Chalimvalog down the ski road in a moment but uh, you can go down from the bottom of the Moster lift to make it to Chalimvalog but be very very warned that there's only a red run once you get to Chalimvalog or you have to take the gondola down but I cannot tell you the joy and happiness of getting onto the ski road after <laughs> taking the gondola up and down so many times so far this season. Feels like this is the beginning of the season. Whoop so really busy. I think one of the busiest days I've ever known, including actually the week from the 10th of uh, February, 10th, 11th of February. Because it's Bulgaria school holidays, a lot of pent up demand. What to say, it is what it is. Uh, my economics teacher said if there's too much de too much uh, demand, too little supply, the price has to go up. Well, that would be very unpopular, of course, but I guess there are alternatives. What's to say? That's how it is. Very busy. There were queues. Uh, absolutely, there were queues. Getting up. Uh, Freddie was with me, back from uni. Just a little break. Great, he's got some old school friends over here as well. Up nice and early though, so not so bad. He took a, uh, yeah, took a bus up. Very busy getting up though, up the uh, main road. So I suggest getting early <laughs> a bus if you're obviously not fortunate enough to have a season pass or a VIP pass which you can buy if you're staying at one of the five-star hotels. Last night was at Tipsy Bar which is in the Valentina Heights Hotel. Keith and his wife Nye, I'm not sure how I pronounce that. Absolutely packed if you want to go there, it was fully booked, you have to book at least two three days ahead, at least. So actually everyone there was a local, all staying for the season. 
type of local. Same thing really. So that was interesting. Oh, she's skiing very well by the way. <laughs> very nicely. So this is the first of the little steeper bits on what's meant to be the easy ski road. It's in very good condition, I have to say. In the shade here, just slowing down, got She's scared. She went into the wall! Amazing what you see. Be careful, please. Good, a good holiday is about not hurting yourself, in my opinion. So, that's what I'm endeavouring to do right now. Just take it easy as we pick our way. Where's he going to turn? Right, left. I keep to the... When you're overtaking, you must keep a big distance away from skiers and snowboarders. It's your duty to keep out of the way. Not theirs, you're overtaking. Just to remind you, this is how it is. So, before I go on, just to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. We've got the live cam there, it occasionally goes down, so when it goes down and then goes up, you'll receive a notification. And uh, the second steeper bit on this ski road. Here we go. Very nice. The snow is really beautiful. So thank you for subscribing, thank you for all your bookings, that's what keeps all of this going, all of the content, all of the persistent work on the app. As well, we're now in the sunshine, I love this little bit, this is actually my favourite part of the ski road. Look at this, amongst the trees. What's not to like here? Look at this. I tell you, I know I'm repeating myself on two accounts, firstly to say the ski road really on days like this is my favourite feast in Banska. Look at this. Now here is where you go off to Shannon Valog, the cannons are on. So it's closed at the moment. So that would be going. The snow quality is absolutely eight and a half out of ten. Nine eight, certainly eight out of ten. Maybe if I was first thing and it was pure corduroy after the groomers had been down, I'd have given it at least a 9 out of 10, but yeah, it's really terrific. It's fast, but not hard. Not yet at any rate. So, yeah, the whole point of the, uh, these blogs is to try and keep you updated, keep the enthusiasm going before your trip and even indeed after your trip. Try and give you some insiders tips and tricks to help you make the most out of it. And it's only possible if you use the booking services in the Bansko app or on Bansko blog, that's book.banskoblog.com. Transfer, ski hire, snowboard hire, ski lessons, snowboard lessons. All with our, all our ski high and lessons with our wonderful partners at Ski Mania. Love those guys. Thank you, George. And the team there. So as we come down this lovely little stretch, very pretty, we can see the valley and the reeler, well, reeler with the white caps in the distance. You probably can't quite see those yet, but maybe now. Yeah, really a pretty part of the whole experience here as we open up and many people will be taking a break here at the Peshterite and just below is Kalibita. I'll show you that, but there we go. To my left, obviously, as I say, the Rila Mountains and the highest peak, Misala. 
nice peak in Bulgaria, I should say. So, some new ski outfits by the looks of it. If you want to show yourself, <laughs> do a blog, then go to the Facebook group, Bansko Blog, or send me your video. Maybe I can use it. Shout out to pluspropertybg.com, Christian Zarnescu, sell and buy, buy and sell, Bansko Property. Hopefully we'll do a little update what's happening in the Bansko property market. Oh, quite a breeze here. Hopefully this isn't too wobbly. Normally I have it on the wide angle mode, but I thought I'd try it on the regular, which is still wide angle mode. Using an IT, I, iPhone 14 Pro Max for these videos. Enables me to actually do these videos and get it up into YouTube within a few hours of taking it typically. Certainly by the early evening. Ski touring, always a good thing. If you want to avoid the queue, you can do ski touring now that the uh, ski road is open. Bars and restaurants, do book. It's getting very busy in the popular places like Ginger, Euphoria, Penguins. Good band at Euphoria. And of course the Irish Harp, mentioned them before. Thank you for their promotion. And for the hat promotion, Emma Randall, you won that. I have another promotion coming up soon, very soon. Maybe the next video. Giveaway, I should say, not promotion, giveaway. That's the proper word. School holidays coming to an end for Bulgarians this weekend. Monday will be quieter and we've got snow arriving very soon, Saturday. A little bit icy bit there where the snow cannon has been. Let's see the river still flowing, it's not iced over there yet. But going to get very cold, honestly, if you really want to wrap up warm, Sunday, Monday. Whew. Add an extra layer, you will not regret it. You will thank me. <laughs> Possibly. There's people playing there. So what's the snow like? People often criticise the ski road. It's alright. I'm on wide skis, 99 centimetres, these head core. The revised version, pretty much the same as the previous version. But uh, yeah, they're really nice skis. Been enjoying some of the fluffy stuff early, early doors. So you can see to the sides, this is man-made snow by this, these uh, snow cannon there. Tacno Alpin. And this is why cold temperatures are so important for any ski resort, so they can work on building up a base of man-made snow that really helps preserve everything. When we come to the end of the season, it helps keep this much more skiable for longer. Official end of the season is 17th of April. 17th of April. Let's hope we get there with plenty of snow. Bit bumpy over that bit. Lots of people walking up. As I say, holiday day here in Bulgaria. Do bear that in mind. But I haven't pulled once yet, at any rate. So let's see, Richard will not be far behind me, I don't think. If you've been out, how did you enjoy it? Will you come back again? 
but we're going to wait for some more snow. I tell you what, there is more snow coming. It's not massive, huge dumps of snow, but it's actually good, consistent, small amounts. That's best, particularly avalanche-wise, is to have small layers building up that bond together, rather than one big dump on a frozen layer that can slip. Not that's relevant, particularly for most people, you're on piste. Uh, but yeah, it can be a very dangerous place to be off piste. But look at this, glorious. As we come in, sport hotel to my right there, and the Kempinski there, gondola lift straight ahead. Hope you're going to have a good weekend. Start planning your ski holiday for March. I say this every time, but we are now very booked up for lessons in February. There are some slots left, group lessons left, a few slots for private lessons. I do recommend taking the private lesson, especially uh, if you've been skiing or snowboarding for a while. I just want to improve your technique, because the better you get, the more fun it is. Just a two hour lesson can make all the difference. First going from years of experience here. Got a little lift here. Remember there, that building there in the front has the other ticket pass, cash desk for buying your lift tickets and the good news is the cash desk is now open till nine o'clock in the evening I guess that'll go on until the end of February or early March so you can get your lift passes really easily now minimal queuing now that it's open so look this has been the ski road and let's see I haven't polled once, I've had the poles in one hand, so this is it. I can't go any further. 12.41. Biffin at the top there. A little bit of queue there, still. Happy end bar there. And let's see where Richard is. Captain Slow. No, he's not slow really, just saying that for fun. He's not, uh, he's not slow at all. Uh, it's got better these days. Uh, Freddie stayed up there, so I'm going to have to get back onto the computer and uh, going to wish you a really amazing weekend. Hope you come out. Do use the services, as I say, please, on Bansko app, Bansko blog app. Uh, really good value and high quality. We work very hard to give you the best possible for the money. That's all from me, Lance. Do subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.